Winter is in full swing and it sure has been cold, especially this past week. Well, despite those cold temperatures, the Department of Environmental Management is urging residents to stay off icy ponds and lakes, saying it's just not safe. Meteorologist Pete Mangione spoke with the DEM officials today. He joins us now from the Northwest Mobile Newsroom for the details that are new at 530. Here at the Parks and Recreation Department of the DEM, the message is clear. Don't be fooled by the recent stretch of very cold weather. A man and those coming to his rescue all fall through the ice recently in California. Fortunately, witnesses and emergency crews were able to get them out safely. It's a scene we don't want to see repeated in southern New England. I would not assume that there's any safe ice anywhere here in the state of Rhode Island right now. John Faltis from Rhode Island Parks and Recreation tells Eyewitness News, although it was frigid for a few days, it wasn't cold long enough to thicken the ice to safe levels. People should never assume uh, the lakes and ponds are safe just by their visual appearance. Faltis says the ice is so thin it's not even worth measuring now. If we get some longer cold snaps in the next few months, people should drill and measure in several spots because ice thickness can vary. And I'd like to emphasize that we recommend that the ice have a uniform thickness of six inches before it's considered safe for skating or group activities. Parks and Recreation keeps an eye on three public areas, Lincoln Woods State Park in Lincoln, Mechanicut State Park in Cranston, and Goddard Park in Warwick. Currently, all have unsafe ice. And for ice updates on the safety status of those three designated areas, you can visit our website at WPRI.com. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.